Recently, Coinbase has announced that if you use their Coinbase wallet, which is a separate wallet, it's separate from your Coinbase account, if you use Coinbase wallet, you can send USDC, which is US dollar coin, a stable coin that's uh, worth a dollar that is backed by dollars or uh, dollar instruments. Anyway, you can send USDC to anyone else via messaging app. So that could be iMessage, I, I, sorry, iMessage, that could be uh, WhatsApp, that could be Telegram, that could be any, any number of, of other platforms. You're able to actually send USDC with a shared link. That other person uh, hits the link. If they already have a Coinbase wallet, they can claim what you've sent them. If they don't have a Coinbase wallet, they get to sign up for one. This is uh, moving us closer to this time when you will no longer need an actual bank or for some of your transactions you will no longer need an actual bank so why is this important for financial professionals it's important because this is getting us closer and closer to that time when your clients will not necessarily have all of their assets in some sort of custodial platform it will it will not always be in a centralized custodial platform like a schwab or fidelity it will not always uh, have assets in a bank they can potentially earn money without it ever hitting a bank it's going to sit in their crypto wallet it's going to sit potentially in their coinbase wallet it means for businesses they can get paid if i operate a business and i am elsewhere in the world where I might not have access to dollars. Maybe I'm, uh, I, I have a, a service business, maybe I'm doing programming, maybe I'm doing copywriting, whatever it might be, in a country where my home currency is not as stable as the dollar, then I can now get paid for my services in USDC in something that looks like a dollar, and it's just going to take a click from someone on the other end, and, and I now have access to the crypto economy. Now, what that means is if I'm the person earning it, not only did, did I now get paid virtually instantaneously in something that looks a whole lot like a dollar, but now it is already on the crypto rails, meaning now I can already, if I want to at some point, participate in this crypto ecosystem. I can borrow, I can land, I can deposit, uh, I, I can find ways to earn if I want to, but now it makes it that much easier. We've said before, Earning money in crypto in something that, that is on the crypto rails is the ultimate on-ramp. Spending it in crypto rails is the ultimate off-ramp. And Coinbase just gave us this ability really easily. They even have a simple mode, meaning I don't have to worry with all the other parts of, of having a wallet. So it's going to look very much like any other app that allows me to send money, a Venmo, a Zelle, or PayPal, or anything like that. It's going to look just like those. This is... Uh, I don't want to say it's revolutionary. It's evolutionary. This is the next step. This is what we've been talking about. This is where you and your clients are going to have assets that are not not in uh, traditional centralized custodians. It means you are going to have to help your clients understand how they're going to keep their money safe. You're going to have to help them understand what they can do once they have money this way, once they have money that is denoted with a token on chain. This is really important that Coinbase is doing this, and it goes towards this idea that we are not going to operate in banks the, the way we have been operating with banks in in all of our lifetime. We're not going to be operating with custodians the way we've operated with custodians in all of our lifetime. And as financial planners, as financial advisors, financial professionals, this is just part of what you're going to have to know and, and going to have to understand. This is that next step in adoption and evolution, which is I can send money to you because we're connected on iMessage or we're connected on WhatsApp and what you receive looks and feels a lot like a dollar, and then you're in. And again, once we start down these roads of no longer needing to have all of our assets in banks, once we start down these roads of being able to pay someone, anyone, anywhere in the world, anytime with something that looks much more stable than their currency, we don't generally roll back. So this is this progression of the technology. You know, the other part that it uh, reminds me is that the more, more transactions like this are necessarily going to lead to uh, you know, more usage of these networks. So if it's USDC on Ethereum, it's more usage of the Ethereum network, meaning potentially more demand for ETH. If it's, more, if it's USDC on Polygon or Solana or whatever chain it is, it's more usage of that network, meaning that native token might be more in demand. So, so interesting that Coinbase did this now. 
uh, and especially around holiday time, maybe we'll try it out, sending some money to each other uh, during the holidays. But really interesting, this is moving more towards that point where you and I, your clients, will all be uh, more and more on-chain, will have more custody, more control of their own assets, more ability to be able to move money anytime they want without asking anybody's permission. Uh, so this is the, the announcement we've seen recently from Coinbase about their Coinbase wallet.